Hey y'all, this is Fancy Rebel back again with another video. And in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be letting y'all know how much dental hygienists make in your state. A lot of people don't know that dental hygienists, being a two-year degree, can make some moolah. And a lot of people like look down upon like a dental field or anything like that because they don't know much about it. But I'm here to let you know right now that the pay is looking great, okay? And if you want to know more about how much you could get paid for a two-year degree, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and stay with me. All right, before we get started though, I wanted to speak upon something that other people have been asking me about so if you know me personally you know that i have really bad skin okay i know it doesn't look bad today okay i'm glowing but on a normal basis my skin is horrible like i have like the dry patches the scaliness like it'll be light here when i was younger people used to call me Michael Jackson because my skin would turn white in spots and the dry patches true story but anyways I got thick skin now so it is what it is but if you're like me you know that you feel the best and look the cutest when your skin is glowing so it makes my confidence level go up okay so no this video is not sponsored by them I just thought I'd let you know what I've done so far so yes, y'all seen the videos all over the internet, all over YouTube, all the big influencers talk about it. But yes, Curology, I decided to just try it out now. It's like, all right, I've been seeing this all around. And if you're telling me that it's just a free trial and I only have to pay for shipping, what is the harm in trying? You can take my little funky five dollars, whatever. So the way it works is you go on there and you type in like, your skin problems you're having and things you want to work on some people are really acne prone some have a dry skin like me and you let them know like what you've been going through and then you also can let them know some medication or things that you've taken in the past that you may have been prescribed and then at the end you would take a picture of front side to side so they can actually see what you got going on so I did that and my skin was I'm telling you it was so puffy like I usually get bad areas here definitely here right here here and here they would turn red sometimes too and I used to get super insecure so I have my hair covering it or I usually just hold it here or something like that and then that's why I would always wear a lot of makeup to cover up my my patches so people wouldn't be able to tell that my skin is all these funky colors so anyways, right now, you can see I have no foundation on whatsoever. The only thing I have done is my brows and it's a mascara. I didn't put a lip gloss on, I just thought about that. Mm. But anyway, so yeah, I've been doing that for, I wanna say maybe three weeks now. I am so inconsistent. That is a horrible thing about it. You should stay in, you should stay consistent with it and you would see results a lot faster than I did. They tell you to wash your face like morning and night and apply the things that all the instructions are like on the back of these. They are prescribed, so your name will be on here. And the tiny ones are like this. And then once, if you feel like it works for you, then go ahead and like keep it going. I'm gonna keep it going. The price seems scary, but not really if you think about it. Like other things you probably buy and cost way more than what I'm about to tell you. So it came out to like $61 for this month coming up, but it's every two months they send you products. So really think about it, it's like $30 a month. It's not that bad when they're giving you multiple things at once. Some of the brands that I've been trying, and I still love Bosha, still love it to this day and I still use some things. One little thing costs like $50. And this only cost me $30. So yeah. Anyways, stop rambling about that. Let's get into what we came here for. So I will leave it on the screen somewhere. It'll be on the screen. And I'm gonna let you guys know what it is in your area. I'm gonna show you the low, 
the medians when most people get paid and then the high side probably after you had some experience okay most people are not gonna walk in with that high price so don't think oh shit that number's high as hell let me go ahead and get it and then be discouraged when you don't get offered that price and you wasted all that money on school do your research first right I did my research for years and years and years I've been in the dental field for seven years in the military and I decided to just keep pursuing so now I'm going for my dental hygiene degree if you guys haven't seen any of my other videos yes I got accepted to the dental hygiene program and it starts this fall so yeah I'm gonna go in order from the states from alphabetical order so Alabama on the low side of the cost meaning walking in probably you're gonna be looking at $61,748 and this is the state Every city has different prices, and also it also depends if you're going corporate or a private practice. Totally depends, and also depends on if you're planning to do full time or part time or temping. All different prices, but I'm just letting you know what I see on the site, and this is as current as May of this year. So that's the low side, the median, so most people are getting paid this price. You're looking at $71,099. Before taxes, y'all, okay? Before taxes. And on the high side, you're looking at like $80,000. Again, I will put it somewhere over here, all of it in order. And then Alaska, you're looking at $73,873 on the low side. And median, you're looking at $85,000. And on the high side, you're looking at $96,000. That's already more than some people with four-year degrees are making, okay? And if you're wondering, I'm looking at my laptop, I've made a whole little list for you guys. So that's what I'm looking down. In Arizona, you're looking at 65,000 on the low side. You're looking at 75 for a median and 85,000 for a high side. For Arkansas, and this is the places that not a lot of people live in, or that I know of anyways. You're looking at $60,000 on a low side. 69,000 for median and 79,000 on the high side. In California, because this is a bigger state, more cities, more expensive cities like San Francisco and LA, depending on what part of LA, you're looking at 73,000 on the low side, 84 for a median, and 96 for on the high side. And then Colorado, you're looking at 65 for a low side. 75 for median and 86 on the high side. Connecticut, you're looking at 71,000 on the low side, 82,000 for median and 93 on the high side. For Delaware, or yeah, I'm on Delaware. Yep, Delaware. You're looking at 96 on the low side. You're looking at 79 for median and 90 on the high side. Florida, you're looking at 62 on the low side. You're looking at 72 for a median and 81 for a high side. One good thing about uh, whew, one good thing about Florida is that it's a tax-free state. So that being said, maybe the pay is a little better when you're weighing out options from taking out taxes from your money. Obviously, you're still gonna pay federal taxes, but at least you ain't gotta worry about state taxes ripping some money out too. So Georgia, you're looking at 65 for a low side. 75 for a high side and 85 for or 75 for median and 85 for a high side which is really good money especially if you're living in like the more rural areas i know my siblings and my family live in albany georgia and i looked at theirs and there's about 75 on average in that area and that is a lot of money for that area that they live in um hawaii 69 for low side, 79 for median, and 90 for a high side. That being said, Hawaii's expensive as shit, so I don't know if that would be a great option for you over there, but it's, it's there for you. Idaho, you're looking at 62 on the low side, 71 for a median, and 81 on the high side. Illinois, you're looking at 61 on the low, or 67, sorry, 67 on the low side, 77 for a median, and 88 for a high. I'm pro pretty sure it's probably because of Chicago. Indiana, 64 for a low, 
74 for median, and 84 for high. Then you got Iowa, you're looking at 63 for a low, 72 for a median, and 82 for a high. And next we got is Kansas. Kansas is 62 for a low, 72 for a median, and 81 for a high. Then next we got Kentucky. You got 62 for a low, 71 for a median, and 81 for a high. And mind you, some of these that sound low on the lower side or even on the higher side is because those places probably cost of living isn't as much. So that pay is still good for that area, you know what I mean? Louisiana is 63 on a low, 72 for a median, and 82 for a high. So not bad at all. Maine, you got 62 for, or 63, sorry, 63 for a low, 73 for median, and 83 for a high. And we have Maryland is 67 for a low, 78 for median, and 88 for a high. And Massachusetts, we're going up north, so usually it costs more because the cost of living up here is expensive. So 71 for a low, 82 for a median, and 93 for a high. Michigan is 65 for a low, 75 for a median, and 86 for a high. Minnesota is 67 for a low, 77 for a median, and 88 for a high. Then we got Mississippi, and Mississippi is the country down south, so again, cost of living there is not as much as somewhere like New York. So Mississippi, we're looking at 57 for a low, 66 for a median, and 75 for a high. Missouri, you got 62 for a low, 72 for a median, and 82 for a high. Then we're on Montana now. Man, there's so many states, damn it. Montana is 59 for a low, 68 for a median, and 78 for a high. Nebraska, we got 60 for a low, 69 for a median, and 79 for a high. Nevada, we have 67 for a low, 77 for a median, and 88 for a high. I'm pretty sure that high is probably like Las Vegas because Nevada, I don't know much about Nevada except for Reno and Las Vegas. Um, New Hampshire, you have 66 for a low, 77 for a median, and 87 for a high. New Jersey, you have 72 for a low, 83 for a median, and 95 for a high. Again, those are these expensive ass states, so cost of living is more. So sometimes it may seem like, oh, they're making way more than I am, but if you equate the cost of living to their pay, it's probably somewhere the same, or you might be doing better, you never know. We're on New Mexico, 60 for a low, or 69 for a median, and 78 for a high. New York, where I'm at right now, 79 for a low, 91 for a median, and 103 for a high. And that's because the state is fucking ridiculously expensive. No, I don't plan on living here for the rest of my life. Hail to the fucking now. But yeah, that's how much I'd be making here. And if you look around, I looked online before I got out of the military, we had to do some research, cost of living versus what you could be making for whatever career you wanna do and see if it fits. Apparently you're supposed to be making $120,000 here yearly just to live a comfortable life. That's fucking crazy. So okay, all my rant, sorry. North Carolina, 62 for a low. 72 for a median and 82 for a high. North Dakota, you have 61 for a low, 71 for a median, and 81 for a high. Then we have Ohio, you're at 64 for a low, 74 for a median, and 84 for a high. Okay, it goes up, you know, 10K every time, hey. Oklahoma, we're at 61 for a low, 71 for median and 81 for a high. Then we have Oregon, we're 65 for a low, 75 for a median, and 85 for a high. In Pennsylvania, we're at 65 for a low, 75 for a median, and 86 for a high. In Rhode Island, we're at 69 for a low, 
79 for medium, and 90 for high. I don't know anybody who doesn't go that. South Carolina, we're at 61 for a low, 71 for a median, and 80 for a high. We're almost done with these states, y'all. Dang. South Dakota, we're at 56 for a low, 64 for a median, and 73 for a high. Tennessee, we're at 59 for a low, 68 for a median, and 78 for a high. Texas, we're at 64 for a low, 74 for a median, and 84 for a high. And that's another tax-free state, and also a veteran-friendly state. They love their military people, so if you are trying to get in, I'm telling you, you probably walk in on your first offer. Um, where are we at? Utah, we're at 63 for, or 62 for a low, 71 for a median, and 81 for a high. Vermont, we're at 63 for a low, 73 for median, and 83 for high. Virginia, we're at 65 for a low, 75 for median, and 85 for high. And then we have Washington. We're at 70 for a low, 81 for a median, and 92 for a high, probably because of Seattle. West Virginia, 58 for a low, 67 for median and 76 for high. Wisconsin, we are at 64, or sorry, 60, yep, 64 for a low, 74 for a median, and 84 for a high. And then we have our last state, finally. We're at Wyoming, 58 for a low, 67 for a median, and 76 for a high. And that's all I have for you guys for today. So again, I will leave it somewhere over here. You probably already see it as I'm going through. And that is just a two year degree. In some places you can do a accelerated program. So like mine is 20 months instead of 24, like some other places. And this is with no prereqs. So some people have to do prereqs first. So that really puts them at like four years if you think about it. The program itself may be two years, but all the work they did is probably looking at four or more years. And then you have some places like NYU, there's a 17 month program to get your dental hygiene license. They have a 21 or a 20 month and a 24 and some other ones too. But yeah, so you can get yours in less than two years and be making this. And that's probably cheaper than some other colleges where you're busting your ass, paying student loans for four year degree and coming out still making minimum wage or just normal wage, starting at like maybe 15 an hour. When in this, you could be starting off for like 32, 48 an hour. So yeah, for all those who's talking shit about dental hygiene, now you got a little more information. Another thing, that versus nursing. Nurses, I swear, work way more hours, work way harder, and probably make roughly around the same price as a dental hygienist. Who has flexible hours, Monday through Friday, most clinic Monday through Thursday because they don't like to work on Fridays. And then you still have all your benefits like health, dental, 401k, all that. I like to work smarter, not harder. So that's also why I chose this field. But yeah, if you're still with me, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Those subscriptions and likes and in comments really help me to continue to make videos for you guys. And if you want to find me on any of my social media platform, I do have it down in the description below. It's pretty much the same for all of mine besides my Snapchat. So like I said, it'll be in the description below. And with that being said, I will see you guys next week. Bye.